All right, so greetings and salutations. So I saw a bunch of videos um, about snow removal with the Kubota BX23S or just subcompact tractors in general. So I kind of wanted to, I have both. So I have a plow with a quick attach end to it. There's a metal connecting, it's buried right now, but there's metal connecting, trust me. Uh, so I have a plow here that I'm gonna hook up and, and use. It's able to be turned. There's a little pin system on there so you can turn this whole thing. Uh, and then I have just a regular bucket. And as you can see right off the bat, there is a size difference, but I saw a bunch of videos of people saying they tried snow removal with the bucket and it just filled up too quick and it and it didn't work. It didn't work how they wanted it to. There's my foot on there for comparison. So I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of passes with the bucket, then switch off to the plow and kind of show you the difference. All right, so what I did here was I pushed the bucket control lever all the way down until it sort of clicked, and that was the activating the float switch. That way all I had to do was control the tilt on the bucket, and you'll see these first two passes. I kept the tilt uh, fairly not extreme. I didn't want to hurt the grass the first two passes, but the second two that you'll see coming up, I got a little more daring and angled the bucket a little more, a little down further. Uh, so that way I'd scalp the grass a little closer. And as you can see, I got a lot more snow pulled out of that one, but I did bump into the grass and rip some of that up. So. You will get more out, the bucket will kind of fill up, and you want to be very careful that you don't uh, overfill the bucket, otherwise you'll have little streaks here and there. But for the most part, it did really well, and I really wouldn't feel like I had to go over it again. But if you do feel like going over it again, you I would recommend it backfilling, and it'll kind of smooth everything out. And that's kind of what I'm showing off here, which... It makes it look a little nicer, if that's what you're into. <laughs> All right, so now for the plow. Uh, so this plow that I had here was a plow attachment that was set for a uh, receiver for a um, for a truck car. I actually put I put a front receiver on my truck so I could hook this in. You would then use it in combination with a winch to lift the front up so you don't have to use it like I'm using it. But it just it just worked out pretty good with this tractor. I didn't have to add any other modifications. And then the I did a front quick attach plate that had a front receiver in it so that I could use that same same piece of equipment. And here you'll see me tilting it. So it's it's actually it's a little bit easier to use than I anticipated than I thought it would be. It was a lot easier to use it on the tractor than it was a truck. And as you can see, it really does a great job pushing that snow. Like I was able to go full force, um, didn't really have to worry too much about it. It did scalp the ground a little bit, as you see, a little bit of dirt kind of pulls up with that. Um, but it's, it's not terrible. I don't feel like it was doing too much damage that was really on a spot that that had more dirt on it than grass. The shoes do do a good job of keeping it from being damaged. It keeps the blade up and then I controlled how sort of deep or how much of an angle that front plow blade took by lifting and raising the front bucket control. Since instead of a bucket now I have this plow. And you see, I, you're able to get a lot more with this pass. You're able to, to do a lot more with this. It's, I mean, it's nice, but, uh, I mean, really, if all you had was the front bucket and you wanted to do snow removal, you could still do exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, in this, that case, I was pushing it straight because I just wanted to do a front straight push. I'm kind of finishing up here now. And you got to make sure your tree branches don't hit stuff. <laughs> That's what I was doing there. Uh, and then one thing to note on this particular setup I have, in order to set it back down and use it, I actually push it onto the ground and then back up slowly and kind of set it into place, which at first it's kind of cumbersome, but you get used to it after a little bit. 
Um, but yeah, if you have just the regular bucket and you wanted to, you just wanted to get some snow moved, go right for it. There's really no, nothing stopping you. If you ever have the extra funds or you find one of these used, I would say pick it up because it is a great addition. Greatly would reduce your amount of time having to, to snow plow. Um, and in fact, even here, I decided to, even though I put the bucket down on it, I decided to plow this portion and allow myself to get the chicken coop. But that's about it. It works really nice, and I'd recommend either or. But if you're able to get both, I would say get both. Look at these things. After I plowed them a path, they followed me in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> All along the pathway. <laughs> They were just hanging out right outside the door <laughs> before I plowed them a spot. <laughs> now they're exploring. Oh, little rascals.